Hello everyone, today I'm back with another video for this SketchUp tutorial for building a simple house design. So for this you need to have a SketchUp software installed in your computer. So I have already downloaded this software named SketchUp Pro 2019. So you can easily download it for free. So today in this video we are going to make this building. So let's start. So first of all open the SketchUp 2019 and you will get a dialog box like this. So we are going to do this tutorial in meters. So I will click on this. For fit you can click on these options. So you will get an interface like this. First of all click on this rectangle tool to draw the rectangle or you can also click R from the keyboard and draw the rectangle so you can type 11 comma 9 from your keyboard and click on enter so to orbit you need to click on o or you will also see this orbit option at the top of the screen so here click on this tool that is our select tool and click on the surface and click on this reverse faces so it will simply do is make this front face now we need to draw the walls so for this we need to make an offset so i will simply click on f from the keyboard or you will also see this offset tool so click on this is and type 0.3 and click on enter so you will get this now i'm going to make the height of the room of 3.5 meters so click on the press pull option that is type p or you will also see this press pull or push or pull option at the top of this toolbar so simply do is click on this surface and pull it up to the height of 3.5 meter by typing 3.5 meter from the keyboard and click on enter now we need to draw this slab portion so for this we have to draw this rectangle by typing r and draw a rectangle here now type f from the keyboard or you can also click on this offset tool now you can just put your mouse on this side and you will see the dotted portions like this so just you need to drag the mouse and type one meter so here we have this offset of one meter now we need to do is press pull this inner portion by height of 0.2 meter and click on enter again select this outer is and type 0.2 enter again this portion is selected and again type 0.2 so here we have the slab portion now i need to delete all these lines by simply clicking on delete from the keyboard or you can also use this eraser tool from the toolbar so i have deleted these lines now i'm going to make this hipped roof so for this i need to orbit and see this front view now click on this pencil tool or this line tool or you can simply click l from the keyboard and draw a line of 3.5 meter and click on enter so again from this point you need to draw the triangle like this so here you have a triangular is so here we are going to use this follow me tool that is it follows a path with a selected face so firstly we need to do is select this face where we want to draw the hip roof so click on this follow me option and click on this triangular portion so here you will see this hip roof but here we can see that these portions are extra so you need to delete this for this you need to simply select all these house and click on intersect face with the model so here we will see these portions can be easily deleted so just select these portions and click on delete from the keyboard again orbit it and select this portion and delete it from the keyboard so here you will see the hit roof now we're going to make this portion so for this i will make a small rectangle at this bottom having the size of 4 into 2 so for this i need a line tool and here we can see this blue that is a midpoint so simply i will draw the line in this green axis up to the length of 4 meters so type 4 and click on enter so you also have this tape measure tool or you can also type T from the keyboard and drag the line up to 2 meter. Also drag 2 meter from this side. You need to do is type 2 meter from the keyboard. Also drag a line from this side up to 4 meter. Type 4. So you need to draw rectangle in this portion. So here we can see there is a rectangle and this line is deleted by using this eraser. So I'll simply click on this portion and again reverse the face now i will again press pull by using p 
and type 0.2 meter and click on OK. So again use this tip that is T from this keyboard and drag this line up to 0.35 meter and click on enter so you'll get a line. So again use this pencil tool or you can type L from the keyboard and draw this line. Again press pull and type 0.2 and click on enter. Again use T and drag this line up to 0.35 meter and click on enter. Draw the line here so you'll get a line here. Again click on the press pull by typing P and type 0.2 meter and click on enter. So we will get a, a staircase like this. Now we need two number of these pillars on both sides. So we are going to make a pillar of size 0.35 into 0.35 so simply use this rectangle or type R now type 0.35 comma 0.35 so you'll get this type of rectangle and again follow the same procedure to make a rectangle here again use press pull so you can simply click on this second step and click on enter so this pillar should be height equal to this room so simply you need to do is click on P and click on this surface and just pull and click on this end point so this height will be equal so you need to do same thing in this portion type P you will get offset limited to 0.2 simply click on this surface again you need to do is you need the height equal to this pillar so simply bring your cursor up to this end point so you will get the height equal to this pillar so here we will get two pillars so now we are going to make a slab in this portion so for this we need to type L in our keyboard and draw a line here so you will get this surface but don't worry we can simply delete that again type L and orbit it so you'll get to see this view and you'll see the green line so you need to intersect up to the face so here we can see the line again you need to do the same thing here type L you need to see this green line and you need to do up to the A's. So here we will get this surface and we need to delete it by simply clicking on it and press delete. You can also measure these dimension by using the tape tool or typing T. We can see its dimension is 4 into 3 meter. So I'll draw this rectangle at the bottom that is 4 comma 3 because I need to make this offset again. So for this I will just reverse the face and I need the offset of these three corners only because I don't need to offset in this portion so I will simply click on these three edges by clicking on control and click on this offset tool so I need the offset of one meter type one and simply you can select these lines and click on delete from the keyboard so you need to draw this line so I need to press pull up to the height of 0.2 meter so type 0.2 and again offset this outer surface now I need to simply move this to this portion so I will click on this move option or you can also type M now click on this lower point and move this portion and put at this point but you can see it is hollow so again click on L you can simply connect these two lines so now I'm going to make this triangular portion so for this I will draw a line which is of 1.75 meter height so I will draw a line from this side as well as on this side and erase this inner portion and again type P for press pull you can drag it to this end point so here we will see this triangular portion but it is hollow inside so I'll again draw a line from this side up to this side so here we will see a complete roof now the last thing is our doors and windows so for this I'll simply make a window having the length of 1.3 into 1.3 so I'll simply put 1.3 meter from this tape and here also I'll take some tentative distance and again drag this line up to 1.3 meter so here I'll get rectangle of 1.3 into 1.3 and again draw the rectangle here now you can use the press pull tool and type 0.3 meter because it is our width of the wall so here also i'm going to use this tape tool type t and i'll put tentatively and here also i'll take the measurement of 1.3 meter now simply draw a rectangle here by typing r so you can simply press pull by typing 0.3 and enter so i'll be simply copying this window you can easily download it from 3d warehouse so simply type m or you can also use this move tool and click on the control option from your keyboard 
and you can simply drag this window and put it here again type m and control and simply drag it to this side and to delete all these guidelines you can also do is edit and delete guides so our guides will be deleted now we need this door having the height of 2.1 and length of 1.3 so i'm going to make a rectangle of width 1.3 and comma 2.1 so this is our door i'll also press pull this by 0.3 meter so i'll simply click on this door and click on m and control so you can simply drag this door so here it is not fit so you can use this scale option from this toolbar or you can also use s keyword so you can see here are the green red buttons so you can simply drag this and the door will be fitted so i have placed this door now again i'll place two windows in this portion so i'll simply place this up to this intersecting point and i'm making the window of same size that is 1.3 and here also i'll need the line of 1.3 meter so here i'll simply place this rectangle so here also i'll drag a line again i'll drag a line of 1.3 and enter so here i have drawn two windows and just press pull it by 0.3 meter and click on enter here also 0.3 and enter so i need to rotate this window so i'll first type m and control so it will be copy but i need to rotate these windows you need to do is type m or you can also use this tool to rotate so we need to rotate in this perpendicular direction so simply click on this top view and just rotate it on the green axis so here our window is rotated and you can simply copy it again type m and control and drag it so here our window is also placed now we need to just edit and del delete the guides so here our house is ready now we need to simply color it so we have this bucket tool simply click on that and we'll get these colors option and here we can see here sample paint so i'll be clicking this material or you can also choose different type of color from this roofings so i'll be using this color and here i'll be using this color so it's quite simple so here you can see our house is completed and you can also put this ground by making a rectangle here you can drag a rectangle of any size you want and just put green color so you can pick up the color from these so i'll be using this green color so i'll select this house and type m and i'll put this at the bottom of this rectangular surface so here we can see this our building is ready so we'll learn more about this sketchup in another tutorials so if you like my video please do like share and subscribe